Now it's time to measure the total depth of snow, including old snow and ice, as well as new that is on the ground at observation time. To do this, stick your snow stick or ruler through all of the layers of snow and ice onto the ground and measure to the nearest half inch. Because snow rarely falls uniformly on the ground, take several measurements and average them to find your total depth measurement. Don't measure artificial accumulation spots, such as plowed piles, large drifts, or shoveled snow. If parts of the ground are bare, you should use them as measurements to put into your average. For example, let's say half of the ground is bare, and the other half, after taking multiple measurements, averages out to 2 inches. Your total depth measurement would average out to 1 inch. If more than half of the ground is bare, report T for trace of snow. Since this measurement is taken during your normal time of observation, typically around 7 a.m., if possible, please report your total depth of snow every day that there is snow on the ground, even if you didn't receive any new snow. Report your measurement in the field depth of total snow and ice, new and old, to the nearest half inch. Now we move on to measuring the liquid water equivalent of the total snow depth of both new and old snow. While this measurement is optional, typically taken once per week, it is very useful to hydrologists, river forecasters, and structural engineers. To get this measurement, take a snow core sample from the ground in a place where the snow depth is the same as your average measurement for the total depth of snow. Going back to the situation where half the ground is bare and half has two inches, thus averaging to an inch of snow depth, Find a spot in the yard that equals 1 inch and collect a core sample from that location. Melt and measure and you are ready to report on the line provided. If the snow is wet, it may be possible to take a core sample without having to slide in your snow swatter or spatula. If you live in an area that has a lot of sustained snow cover during the season, we recommend doing this measurement once per week, usually on Monday. Otherwise, measure as the snow comes. Just make sure to leave yourself some yard space. <laughs>